Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers, and this is just a quick video to show how easy it is to break down an Ascend stunt saber. These sabers have been painstakingly designed to be easy to upgrade. I will be posting videos in the coming months showing uh, different upgrade options and tutorials of how to do that. Um, but let's get started. All you're going to really need is a leather glove, two Allen keys, a 1 16th inch, and a 5 64th inch Allen key, and apparently the nose pliers. And that's it. Here's how it works. Uh, this is of course a functional send stunt saver. That's my ice blue color and my light side powder coating scheme. Um, as you may have already been aware, the, the pommel comes off uh, to change the battery and there's a, there's a bit of plastic in there. Let's just start with that. I use the leather glove to set things on if I'm going to be working on them so I don't um, get any dust scratching the aluminum. This uh, piece of plastic comes out of there. That's meant to hold the battery in. This is a standard um, modular pommel system from the uh, insert from the Custom Saber Shop, which is where I get them, in a C-clip. I use the needle nose pliers to grip the C-clip, and then if you're very careful, you can pull that out of there. There's tension on that, and the insert comes out. You can change that with an insert made with holes for sound, and you can set those aside. And we'll use the leather glove in a little while, in a moment anyways. Um, then, of course, just as if you're changing the batteries, you pull out the battery pack, I'm going pretty quickly here because I've done a bunch of these now. Um, separate the battery pack from the plastic sleeve. And uh, off comes the Vel Velcro, um, if you wish. We'll keep it on for this purposes. The actual, the uh, plastic sleeve, for our purposes today, now the Velcro is not tight, it won't fit in the sleeve. There we go, tighten it up. Fit the Velcro in the sleeve. We'll pull the whole sleeve out. You'll notice there's another piece of that plastic housing meant to pinch, hold the battery pack in there. Pinch is probably a bad word. They act as springs to keep it from uh, moving too much when you're doing your dueling. So I'm going to pull it out and get access to all that wire. Now slide the sleeve out. I can take this plastic off. Now I've got just some good wire there. You'll notice that the cover tech clip is screwed in. You can feel just a bit of the tip of the screw poking through. So when it's time to slide this back in, it may catch on the edge of that screw. That's all it is. You just need to work it over that. Worst case scenario, you can pull that screw out. It's threaded 832 for the cover tech. So now you've got it to this point. Um, now this is where the fun starts. Um, this collar piece comes off to get access to the switch and all kinds of other goodies. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to use a leather glove. And I'm going to put my thumb in the leather glove here. I'm not even going to put the glove on just to give me a grip on this o rubber o-ring so I can slide it. The rubber or the leather should be enough to give you enough grip on the o-ring. It's a pretty tight fit. Now watch, I'll have to put on the glove. It's not working for me. Rubber usually is all, or the leather is usually all it needs. There you go. Now I've pulled off the, the O-ring, pop it out, and you can just sit there in the neck. This is still held securely on there. That's where we need our 564 uh, Allen key. It goes in this tiny hole right here. Now what I want to do is that is this, there's a set screw in there, and what I want to do is I actually want to tighten that set screw clockwise, one full turn, one full turn. Now it releases the tension that it was providing on this collar, and the collar slides off. Now I can slide the collar right over that O-ring, if I'm careful. Now watch, the O-ring's going to give me trouble today. It wants to be big and in the way. But I'm going to slide this over the O-ring, and carefully, without scratching the saber, I'm going to slide this right off. No, oh, it's going to catch on the cover tech. Okay, we're not going to slide that off today. I'm going to leave that there. Um, this switch is actually, it's a slide switch. It's actually floating in there. So if you grip that with your fingers, you can now gently pull and just gently work the wires out. And you can see the wires, the white wires of the switch are connected to the white wires that go all the way out here. So all I want to do is just pull the switch free like that. Of course, if I wanted to upgrade it, here's the auxiliary switch set up. I can slide wires through there and mount an auxiliary switch in there. Next thing I want to do is grab my 564 it's Allen key again, and I want to go back into this one. But instead of tightening clockwise, I want to now go counterclockwise. I want to back this screw all the way out. This holds, like a samurai sword, this holds the whole thing together. That little set screw there. So now what I've done is I've uh, removed the, um, the thing holding, the screw that's holding the inner optics. So now the inner optics can actually come out. In order to make sure that the way is clear for the optics to pop out, I'm going to pull out the blade retention screw. Well, I was incorrect. 
you do need one more tool for this. You need a fairly long screwdriver, or sometimes what's better is a, is a rigid plastic tube. You don't want something that's going to pinch wires. You want something that's relatively not very sharp. And what I want to do now is I want to slide this in this end slowly, slowly, so I'm not catching any wires, and I can feel that it butts up against the copper heat sink. I don't know if you can see it. There's a copper heat sink way down there. Slide that all the way in, and basically this is going to come out slowly. Goes through. Now I want to give the saver some more wires, and I want to gently just rock that out, and there's the optics. Now you'll notice this is connected to the battery holder. So these are connected, the wiring there. And they're connected to the switch. If I want to take the whole thing out, which I will today, I push the switch through this hole. I can use the Allen key. And uh, now I can, I can pull. Now the battery holder will not go all the way through this way. And it's difficult to get the optics can all the way through the other way. So you can take apart one more thing. This is your 1 16th Allen key. There's a hole on the optics holder. And you counterclockwise back out this one, this smaller set screw. And now you can remove, you can push in on the lens and you can remove the, the lens. And there you see your LED on a heat sink with a, the rubber O-ring that goes over the goes over the lens there. You can see the wires coming from your LED. This is an RGB LED and in this case the R isn't used. So there's just an empty wire here. It doesn't matter if that touches anything because it's not the R, the red isn't connected. If someone wanted to in the future they could do that. The wires are color-coded. The other red, the long red is for positive, blue and green. There you have it. Now if I want to I can I can gently get my battery out here. Oops. Pull my battery out as you can see. And I can gently now pull the whole assembly right out of the saver. And that is how easy it is for a Genesis Custom Savers Ascend to be completely broken down for upgrade or repair.